this is Julie with Be Dahalik, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a daisy chain bracelet. So I've done a few stitches right here to kind of give you an idea of the direction we're going to be going in. So you can see that I've created little leaves and daisies and I've just repeated that pattern and that's what we're going to do to make this bracelet. So in terms of the supplies you're going to need, you're going to need some beads. So you're going to need a center bead for your flower. So I've got a pretty little yellow Toho size 8-0. Then for the petals, I'm doing white Toho's, again, size 8-0. And then for the leaves, I've picked a green 11-0 Toho. Of course, you can choose whatever colors you like. So just remember, you'll need two size 8-0's and one size 11-0's. And then you're going to need a stringing material. And I've chosen Wildfire 0 .006 in white. It's a really nice, uh, sturdy stringing material. Here's my clasp, and it just snaps together. So I'm gonna need that separated out for this project. Then you're gonna need a needle. I have a size 10 right here and a pair of scissors. So really quite basic uh, supplies, which is really nice. It's nice to not have to have a lot of different materials you're working with. So let me show you how to make this. You're going to first need to string your needle with some of the thread. And you're gonna need about 40 inches of this thread. So go ahead and place the thread on the needle. And one little tip is if you have difficulty threading your needle, go ahead and flatten out the tip of the thread. And you do that by just pinching it between your thumb and your forefinger and take your nail and just scrape it along the edge of that thread. And that's gonna flatten the tip for you. And then it should be easier to thread the needle. I said it should be easier to thread the needle. It usually is. There we go. So now take one half of your clasp, and you'll notice it has a little loop on the end, and that is a closed loop, which is really nice. And we're just gonna place our thread through it, have a tail of about six to seven inches, and then tie an overhand knot. And make another knot and one more for good measure. So this is going to take the place of a stopper bead. So you'll see in my little example here, I used a stopper bead, but I didn't need to do that because we're gonna actually attach it right onto the clasp. So now onto your needle, go ahead and place eight of the little green size 11-0 seed beads. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I've got those right on my needle and I'm just going to scoot them all the way down to my clasp. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go back up through the third seed bead. So one, two, and on that third one, you wanna go up through it. So I'm gonna lay this down on the table here so you can see what we've just done. We've basically created a little loop so hold those seed beads down towards the clasp and just pull. And that is our first little leaf. And you can just take your finger and just pull them down so that they stay nice and tight up against that clasp. Now go ahead and take two more seed beads on your needle and pull them down. And now we're ready to make our first flower. For the flower, we're gonna go ahead and string on our petals first, and you'll need seven of them. So seven white 8-0 Toho's. So let's see, I've got six and seven. Pull those down so they rest up against your leaf. Now go back through the first one you strung on. So again, we're making another loop. So there we've got our petals, and now we need our center, so go ahead. Take one yellow seed bead, pull it down, and actually position it in the center of your cluster, like so. And now you wanna go through either the third or the fourth of the petals. So it doesn't really matter which one, it's gonna create a little bit of an uneven flower, which is what we want. It's gonna look nice that way. So either the third or the fourth, and just come out the other side. And there you've got your first flower. 
So we're going to repeat the process again with the leaves. So again, eight of the little 11 O seed beads. So four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pull those down. Go back up through the third one. So you've made a loop. And then string on two more. So one, two, and that completes your next little leaf segment. And now we need to make another flower. So seven more of the white beads, four, five, six, and seven. And then go back through the first one to make a loop. And now we need our center. So we take the yellow one. And you want to position it in the middle. So you just pull it across and then go through the third or the fourth one. And when I say one, the third or the fourth white seed bead or petal, however you want to call it. And we've made another flower. And now we're going to repeat. I'm going to do one more here on camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and finish this off off camera, at least the flower and the leaf segments, and then come back when I'm ready to attach the other half of my clasp. So I've got three seed beads, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pull them down. Go back through the third one to create my leaf. Two more to complete the green segment. And now another flower, so seven more of the white seed beads. Three, four, five, six, and oops, seven. Let me just double check. Yep. Okay. And then back through the first white bead to make a loop. And now grab another center bead. And pull it to the center. And then through the third or fourth petal, come out the other side. So now we've got three of the little green segments and three little flowers, and you're gonna keep beading for however long you want your bracelet to be. The clasp is really only gonna add about half an inch. So if you want a seven and a half inch bracelet, you're gonna bead about seven inches of flowers and leaves. Or what you can do is what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it on my wrist and measure that way to see how long I want it to be. So I'm gonna do that off camera just so that this is not a terribly long video. And then untangle this too. And then I'll come back, like I said, when I'm ready to attach the second part of my clasp and also to show you how to weave in your tails. I have finished my beadwork. I'm gonna show you how much I have here. So I have a pretty petite wrist. So this is about six and a half inches of beadwork. A little more than that if you stretch it out. And then with the clasp, it'll be about seven inches. And now we're ready to attach the other half of the clasp. But before we do that, I wanna quickly take note of how many beads I have left over. So you can see the beads here, but also see how many beads are in the tube. So you of course can make a lot longer of a bracelet, you can make a necklace, or you can make multiple bracelets with just three tubes of beads. So that's really fun. So to attach the other half of our clasp, we're gonna go ahead and take our needle and put it through the little loop at the end of the clasp. And then we're gonna go back through our beadwork. So just hold the clasp in place. Be a little finicky right here. Take your needle and go back through your green beads and pull. And now at this point, we're gonna tie a knot. So just, I passed under my threads so that I have a loop. And now I'm gonna take my needle and go through the loop and tie a knot. And I'm gonna repeat. Now I'm gonna go back through some more beadwork and I'm just gonna retrace my thread path. Oops, make sure that it doesn't get caught up on my little clasp. There we go. So just going through my beading to another juncture where I can pass under another thread bridge and tie another knot and keep going. 
So I usually like to have about three knots just to make sure that everything's nice and secure. And by passing through your beadwork, you're able to actually hide your knots within the beadwork. Now I'm just going ahead and going through a few more beads. And now I can trim off my tail. So that side is now secure. So remember you left about six inches to begin with on the short tail when you began your bracelet. It's at this point you're gonna go back, thread your needle onto that tail And we're gonna go ahead and weave the tail into our beading. So just retrace your thread path again. And I do like to add a few more knots on this end as well. So I pulled my needle out, that's okay. Just pull that knot, re-thread your needle. And again, go back through your beadwork. And I'm gonna do one more knot right here. And go through a few more beads just to hide that tail. And then I'll trim the tail. And there we go. And our bracelet is now complete. So you can see we've got the clasp, which hooks up to itself. And we have a really pretty little daisy chain bracelet that was very easy to make with a lot of leftover supplies, which is always fun. So this is a great bead weaving project. It comes together really quickly and it's just really pretty. You can find all the supplies for it as well as other bead weaving tutorials at beadaholic.com.